Okay, we have an Asus. This one came in for no power from a client. Let's see if we can help them. This is their charger. They didn't bring a charger. This is their hard drive, which was taken out. Um, another company had a look at the laptop, seemed uh, deemed a um, motherboard issue. And owners didn't have time, they had to go overseas, so they quickly had their daughter access to recover it for them. Uh, so this is the X456U. Hmm, it's got a different keyboard. Generally means, oh yeah, black Mayus, it's a different language. And the tilde on top. Okay, so let's have a look what's going on. Power, nothing. So this uses that annoying new Swiss tip. I mean, not that annoying. Okay, power off. And power on. You don't get any light. Okay. Now let's try our bench top power supply, which I didn't set up yet. Okay, just set that up quickly. Let's see if I've got this tip first. That looks like an uh, Acer tip. Nope. I think this may be it. Hmm, too loose. I think that's much better. Let's try that. So this will be a uh, 19 volts. Voltage 1.9 amp 0 0.5. Let's see what happens. Power is currently off. Okay, ready. So we got the power like this. Power on. It's trying to start, but nothing's happening. Okay, got the power. So let's have a look internally, what's going on. Onboard RAM. For some reason, they've put in all different um, types of screws, which doesn't make sense. So that explains the tiny little bumps because they put the wrong side screw.
and as, as soon as I decided to put one screw here. Wow. How come the other side there's no screw? Oh, Jesus, okay. Such a weird design, okay. That's disconnected. So yeah, they did have a look at this board. Okay. Battery of this sort, so we'll need to disconnect the battery. Yeah, so on this one, let's go ahead and have a look at the resistance ratings. It's good to have a familiar feel of a regular laptop or every now and then. Okay. Okay, all right, that's better. So let's have a look at some measurements, see what we find. Something's weird happening here. Okay, that's a bit strange. Stranger in a strange land. It's pin number one. Okay. Screw missing here and here. interesting could be from the case I'm not sure let's just see what's really going on Why would Asus use different size screws there? Okay. They put a new DC jack. Why would you put a new DC jack? So I wasn't told about that part.
Let's just get a better idea of this board, what's really going on on the inside. Okay. So that carries the front LED lights, which is disconnected, of course, that's why we don't get any front LED lights. Ah, yeah, we do know the problem. Okay, it's exploded. Boom, bugga boom. Unless that's by design. Let's have a look at that first. Okay. Oh, good. That's by design. Okay. okay. Good. Nothing serious there. Okay, let's just go back to that DC jack. Here. Yeah, nice job. Grounds are all ground. Okay, on the other side. Okay, we've got our first MOSFETs. Okay, why don't we why don't we check the DC in area first? See if the voltage here will go in or not. So on the 19 volt rail, the resistance to ground. Hmm. Okay. This is the first MOSFET. And the low MOSFET. Okay, so I'm assuming power is going in all the way. Any shorts at the end? Nope, no shorts yet. So far, so good, I guess. Power will come all the way. And it wasn't start, okay. Okay, so what should we do? What should we do? If we apply power again, power is currently off. Check the voltage. Oh, really? Maybe that's a shitty DC jack or my adapter. Is not good. Let me use the um, this guy. This is the one on the, not on the screen that you see. Okay, check here. Power. No. Let me check the power adapter. Yep. What? Oi! You bring me fruits? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. What I need? I love you all. Here, who wants some fruits? These are yours. But this is Harry. This is yours. Oh, thank you. Did you eat Harry already? I want the blackberry. Shh. I want the blackberry. What? No. what? You have to close your eyes and eat. I get bigger one. Hmm. 
yummy. Like this is luxury, man. I don't deserve this kind. Thank you. Okay, so what the hell is wrong? Let's have a look at this DC jack. Clearly, the black is not touching properly, okay. So what we can do in these cases, try to make the ground pin come out. I just don't think they're um, working properly. Let's fix this guy up first. Um, okay, that seems to be fine. Is the 19 volts okay? Yeah. So what the hell is wrong? Voltage mode. Hmm, something's hot. Oh shit. Something's very hot there. Let's have a look on the thermal cam. Then in that case, if we plug in our benchtop power supply, I want to see what we see, what the um, other adapter does. So what we'll do is connect this one. What a difference two power supply makes. This is so interesting. Let's have a look. So one has maybe protection, one doesn't. I don't know exactly what's going on. Okay. Okay. Okay, so first we'll go ahead and retry air one. Gonna use the the normal power supply. Ready, set, go. Let's 
connect. The first MOSFET there getting hot. And what was over there? Oh. This one may have a dead CPU. Yeah, yeah, it's fucked up. Okay. Okay. So this one, the CPU may have been killed. Was that one there getting hot? So let's check resistance. We got no power in the system. Hmm, that's very low. This part the ground. That means the gate of this MOSFET, wherever it's going, it's probably grounded. So, on the probe, ground to ground is similar. Yeah. I doubt it's the MOSFET, but let's have a look. Yeah, I think so. The problem is somewhere around here, or if the CPU is heating up with the charger plugged in that's most definitely see you later alligator okay okay Okay, check the gate to ground again. Ah, gate is not short at the ground. How about here? Ah, oh, fuck. That's, that's the ground. That's fucked. What the hell happened here? Shit. So they did work on it here. Okay, so I'm assuming, yeah, something major, okay. Okay, let's find out. So they're on the right track, you have worked on this before? Okay, which side is the short one? Pray that it's here. No, it's over there. Alright, that means see you later, alligator. Is that supposed to be ground? Okay. Alright, can we save this board? At this moment, I don't think so. Let's see. Let's bring the short injector and let's see where the path will lead. Let's cut these power supplies, get all this out of the way.
all right let's reduce to 0 0.6 okay what are you going to show me okay if i don't see anything on the board obviously we know where the problem is I'm just going to take the CPU heatsink off and then watch it burn. Yeah, the PCH is part of it. Okay. Zero point six. Yep, gone. Okay, that's the end of this story. Alright, so thanks for watching. No success here guys. Keep on moving.